What you're about to watch is a short video made with the brand new Runway Gen 4 Turbo. So, on April 8th, Runway released what could very well be the most powerful video generation model to date, called the Gen 4 Turbo, and it came with significant upgrades to the Gen 4 model. The Gen 4 Turbo not only continues the dynamic and consistent image-to-video generation advantages of the Gen 4 series, but is also up to five times faster than Gen 4. Plus, it also offers the same price, scale, and reliability of the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. But after spending several hours playing around with the model, I've made up my mind on how relevant the Gen 4 Turbo is going to be in the coming months. But don't just take my word for it, let's go through the model together. First things first. When you go to the Runway website, look over to the left-hand corner and you'll find a place where you can upload an image. Below that is a text field where you can write your prompt. I highly recommend that you write a prompt with a sense of motion or dynamism for the best results. Once you've done that, select the Gen 4 Turbo model and choose the duration and aspect ratio you want for the video. Once you've done that, the next step is to closely examine the results and the generation effect of the model. The first thing I noticed is that without a motion blur or indication for a faster movement, you sometimes get really slow and inaccurate movements for intricate movements like a butterfly fluttering its wings. But when you go for the more well-known movements like a human walking in a desert with a picturesque landscape of the sands in the background, you get much more accurate results. You'd honestly think it was filmed with a fancy movie camera. It's that smooth. Now, look at this car scene right here. It's as realistic as they come. I should also mention that you can upscale your videos to 4K if you want, so keep that at the back of your mind. Lighting and shadows also look way better in Gen 4 and its turbo version. In one car scene, Gen 4 made the car look fast, with light and shadows matching the movement. Gen 3, on the other hand, made the car look slow and a bit confused about which way it was going. Even human emotions are handled better. With the prompt, she cries and then laughs hysterically, Gen 4 showed both emotions clearly, in the right order. Gen 3 didn't do that at all. It skipped the emotion switch and even gave the woman three hands. That's hilarious. With the Gen 4 and its turbo model, you get better prompt understanding of smooth motion, improved lighting, and emotional expression. But let's also talk about some of its problems. Just like I mentioned earlier, the first problem I have with the Gen 4 Turbo is its failure to get certain intricate movements accurately. Take a look at this horse riding scene, for example. At first glance, it looks smooth with the way the horse's hair glides over its body, but a closer look reveals numerous hiccups in the movement of the legs. It doesn't look fluid, almost like the horse is caught up between deciding to walk or run, like it's injured sort of, or there's a little bit of skip in the steps. Listen, whatever is going on there is just not good enough for the quality the Gen 4 Turbo boasts of, because we also see some morphing of the legs and other strange stuff going on. But hey, every new model has its awkward teenage phase, right? Remember how glitchy early video editing software used to be back in the day? These hiccups are going to smoothen out with time. But in the meantime, since we have unlimited clips we can create with the Gen 4 Turbo, we can always cut out those strange movements and piece together the good ones. There's also the option of running the prompt several times to get a better result, which brings me to my next point. I tried to compare the prompt compliance between the Gen 4 Turbo and Kling 1.6 for cinematic scenes. This was my prompt. Kling 1.6 seemed to perform better. In the actual test, all models could maintain the atmosphere of the sunset scene, but Kling performs better in terms of prompt compliance, while the two versions of the Runway model are almost similar. The effect and scene changes presented by Runway Gen 4 seem limited to me. Especially when the car and the lens need to move and change at the same time, only the lens changes can be seen. In contrast, the Kling performs a little better. That being said, I think the Gen 4 Turbo does a better job with focus shift than the previous models. In Gen 3, when asked to shift focus from a candle to a person walking in, the video didn't change focus at all. It just stayed the same. But Gen 4 nailed it. It understood the request and delivered a smooth cinematic shift, just like a real movie scene. So again, although not perfect, I think the Gen 4 Turbo is a little step forward in the right direction. I'd also say the character consistency has gone up a notch. 
Users can generate characters, locations, and objects that stay the same throughout different shots, or at the very least, do not change dramatically. With a single reference image, Gen 4 and its turbo version can keep your character looking the same across all kinds of scenes, lighting setups, and camera angles. That's been a huge problem for AI models in the past, where characters randomly changed face, hairstyle, and other things halfway through a video. Hear me out, I'm not saying Runway is perfect. Heck no, it isn't perfect, but I think it's an improvement to some of the other models out there. The Gen 4 Turbo can blend right into live-action films, animations, or even big visual effects scenes. However, consistency of style is still a concern. In anime scene tests done by several users, Runway Gen 4 failed to effectively maintain stylistic consistency, while Gen 4 Turbo did not follow the prompt to draw conclusions. All of these shortcomings have left users disappointed and unsatisfactory reviews like this. Users have complained about slow motion for prompts that request for much faster actions, and some have complained about not getting any movements at all. Is the problem due to inadequate prompting, or is the Runway Gen 4 and Gen 4 Turbo total garbage, as some people say? I'll leave it up for you guys to decide in the comments. I should also mention the fact that Runway is paid AI and still doesn't always guarantee the best results has remained a source of frustration for users, but I think it's going to get better with time. I still think you can actually make short movies and tell stories in a better way without needing the resources of a big studio. I think there's some significant upgrade if we're comparing Gen 4 or its turbo model to older versions like the Gen 3 Alpha, which dropped back in June 2024. However, with the insane competition in the AI industry and other models like Sora and Kling AI looking to keep their nose in front, I think Runway still has a lot of work to do. But for now, I think it deserves a 6 out of 10 rating. Oh, and feel free to disagree with me in the comments. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.